I mean, our hope is the same every year, which is to put on the greatest art fair in the world. And obviously what that means is that we want to hit it at all levels. We want to have the best young galleries, the best established galleries, the most ambitious projects, the most unique experiences for our visitors. The Art Basel show here in Basel has the power of tradition and history behind it. And not only the tradition of Basel, which is one where, that has been a cultural capital for centuries, but also the whole tradition of the European art world, one in which connoisseurship is emphasized, one in which people really know a lot about art history walking in the door. It's a place where bringing something which is unique, which is special, is rewarded. One of my favorite pieces in Art Basel is the Christian Markley piece. And Christian was invited to the Walker Art Center to research the Fluxus art collection. He made a work which is a multi-screen installation based on him actually touching the object with a pair of gloves and he makes sounds with the actual objects. Nowadays much Fluxus material is in archives so you don't get to see it but he's reinterpreted the history of Fluxus and brought it up to a contemporary day with a real deafness of touch. My highlights have been maybe booths where um, special artists have freely created an environment like Lily Wanderstocker and I was very pleased to see that. Or uh, there was work by uh, Domenico Gnoli. It's almost like a little museum presentation and I really enjoyed to discover that. I think we're very struck by the Hannah de Wolven. It's, an, it's, quite a, it's quite an installation. It feels like a museum show. I think obviously it's looking at archive and that's something that we're very interested in. And artifacts. And okay. artifacts from the archive. And so, of course, that was fascinating for us. I mean, there's so much work now, especially with a lot of young arts, contemporary artists, that's so research dense. So it was very interesting to see that totally reflected in an installation so concisely and so eloquently. I was really excited to see new pieces by artists like Ming Wang, like Jordan Wolfson, pieces that I knew well already by someone like Xu Zhen. I mean, his piece in Unlimited is something we actually had in the lobby of the UCCA all through the, the fall, but to kind of see that then really put before a very international audience is, of course, hugely exciting. Um, and then it's, it's about, you know, walking around and talking to people and just discovering things that you might not have otherwise encountered. And that's really the great thing about the fair situation even compared to a museum show or Biennale is that there's always someone on hand to kind of engage in conversation and, and, and just to figure out how to learn more. Even if I didn't have so much time to go around because I'm working, um, I saw a very nice piece at Vitamin Creative Gallery. Um, um, a Hongkongese artist I'm following is called Lee Kit, and that was the piece I really got in love, uh, apart from many, many others, but that would be my highlight. The feature section is, uh, is unique, and I think it's particularly striking this year because there's a like there's a string, there's a line of uh, very strong uh, solo shows by artists that I think nowhere else, in no other fair, you can see such presentation. Um, it's really uh, the ideal way to bring uh, to bring these artists to to the audience that you find in our Basel, which is quite unique in the world. One of the highlights this year for me has been Q Scott Douglas. His work focuses on rethinking reproduction and rethinking the way one can actually express themselves without using traditionally a canvas and rethinking the whole process. I come to Art Basel quite religiously every year 
uh, usually for four or five days and I come because it's a unique opportunity to see a lot of art. It's a pilgrimage of art and it's uh, a feast for your eyes <laughs> and, uh, and also a, a way to take advantage of the incredible momentum that the fair uh, generates, uh, not only among uh, art experts and professionals, but also within the city with all uh, the exhibitions in the museums. And uh, it's always a good excuse to, to come to Switzerland and then wander a little further away and discover places where I've never been before. People always ask us about the future of Art Basel and I think the answer is simple in a sense and very complicated in another sense. The simple answer is that we will continue to do what we've always done, which is to provide a place where the works of the highest quality and the galleries of the highest quality meet the patrons and the curators and the museum directors of the highest quality. One of the essential elements for Art Basel has been not only the emphasis on quality in an absolute sense, but also the continuing desire to embrace whatever is most important in the art world at that moment. A quarter century ago it was the decision to bring photography into the fair with a sector at a time when in Europe the idea of collecting photography was not at all a given. In the same sense in 2000 we introduced Unlimited and then this year we did 14 rooms and to see the way that 14 different artists created 14 different intimate and touching experiences is an amazing thing. Again this is the kind of thing which in theory doesn't need to be at an art fair, but it does need to be at Art Basel.